Mm. Thanks for the subscription. Oh, yeah, facts. We really oh, don't I can't see do any it. notifications, I but... I was going to put up the House of 3000 ad. Still, subscribe to House of 3000. Do it. We give your own... We'll Twitch give Prime. It's, it's free. This is, for, this is for you. Oh, Pokemon Trainer instead. I was really expecting the Diddy Kong, but Peko with the swag tag is uh, choosing Pokemon Trainer. Obviously, Squirtle. And equally slippery character we have, though, with Squirtle, except there's two other Pokemon chilling in the back and waiting to thrown out. Yeah, but no, I think definitely Ivysaur are going to be super imperative in this matchup for, you know, all of the the pressure that he can set up at ledge, especially with, like, down air. Already we're seeing the Ivysaur and, come out. But the John Numbers doing a quick 33% with one sun salutation. Wow, yeah. catching numbers with two up Bs and barely, you know, skimming the top of the blast zone, but uh, able to survive. Wow, raw down air calling uh, Peko out, and now Numbers is off. Like all of a sudden, just snowballing with this momentum, Ooh. catching the switch with the Zard. Any edge guard? What do we got? Going off stage this is a little scary situation, though. All right, Peko just kind of weighing things out, able to get the anti air with the up smash, and putting Peko now in a stock lead. In probably going to be sticking with the Charizard. Doesn't want to deal with uh, having to die too early. Yeah, we're definitely not seeing a Squirtle switch, but honestly. Ooh. It could catch numbers off guard, and since he is at a low percent, it will be a great, you know, combo starter, combo conversions. But like you said, just one tap from Weefa Trainer against a Squirtle, it's just clipped. Yeah. Gotta be careful of that soccer ball. <laughs> I can't ball. believe that still worked. <laughs> His ability to, you know, Ooh. use the ball and maneuver it around their opponents is just great. Being patient as well. It's only half the battle, you know, knowing your angles. The other half is the rhythm, man. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, Peko only getting 1.5% of extra credit and immediately healing his numbers. And now he's starting to snowball once again, trying to call it the side B, but that side B is just too damn fast. Yeah. Being said, though, oh, oh no, wow. the Ivy Sword tether just a little bit too slow. Put him in perfect percent to get numbers her. calling out the tether stall and <laughs> clapping in the air with the, those three nares as well. Great parry, but I think you're going to need more than parries, Beko, to take this stock from numbers. He yeah. is completely content with playing this ledge game, not letting, not wanting to let Squirtle get anything started either, but that's a dash attack into a quick little up air. What you got, Ivysaur? All right, getting a little bit too early with that downer, giving John a little bit of time to get that get up attack. Sour spot backer leading into the grab, into the forward air. Great conversions from numbers. Hacking on that extra credit. Wow, dash attack hitting Ivysaur from the ledge. Great reactions, too, by John to react to that uh, vine whip from ledge. Scary situation. Wow, perfect uh, tether from Peko right there. He's got to figure out a way Ooh. to build this percent, though. And you cannot be crossing up Weefit's shield like that. She's wow. going to be back in in every time, but some not great DI on that <laughs> dash attack. Yeah. Be. Immediately sent straight to the blast zone with that yeah. dash attack. We, we, he, and he's shaking his head after that, he knows. But that was a great call out with the tether, like the up stall and everything. I'm honestly not even sure if he like want, was call, trying to call that out, but it really seemed like mm -hmm. he did. Yep, yeah, yeah. I think he knew that Pekka was going to switch out, or maybe not the up stall, but he knew he was going to be in that general area at least. Soccer ball. Bouncing on both of the platforms. Wow. Yep. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> little blip here, blip out. Commentator jump scare. <laughs> out of nowhere. Nice up smash to seal to get the first stock, but it just wasn't enough. Squirtle being at 171%. Back to Ivy and then. Yeah, Pekka was trying to take some space with the Razor Leafs, but as soon as he committed to it, John Numbers was already in center stage, ready for the back air. Maybe if Pekko, you know, just got one Squirtle conversion at the start of that second stop, we really wouldn't have seen, you know, that that kind of uh, momentum shift yep. that led Numbers to just kind of like run away with the game. That being said, though, Pekko wants to wants he's, to play it out. He's determined. He definitely is sticking with the Pokemon Trainer. I really don't think there was any problem with it. It was just that Numbers was, you know, dominating that second half of the game. Great little Squirtle combo though, only 32%, but quickly building and fast. Back here, set him off stage, immediately going to the Ivy Store and Woo! getting the clean there into up B is Peko. Great start to this new game. Okay, he's going immediately back to the Squirtle. He's trying to get as much percent as he can, but so is numbers. The unprecedented momentum coming out from Peko just the way John, I think John definitely was not expecting any further like edge guarding attempts yeah. from Pekka right there. Yeah, especially after that last game, 
numbers probably thought Pekka would be more hesitant, just, you know, a little uh, shy to go off stage yeah. and everything. Looking for a reset, maybe. Uh, immediately throwing numbers off stage and still talking about it. But, you know, this uh, this isn't out of the realm for numbers. He's really Ooh. packing on the damage and packing that forward air right there. Sending Pekko to his second stop. Yep. Oh, and this is a scary situation. Great switch from Pekko. <laughs> we oh. all know what they're thinking. <laughs> Caveman brains. A little Neanderthal moment right there. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Up. Withdraw just going right through the back hit of the forward air. Numbers really hasn't taken any meaty hits ever since that second stock. It seems that this second stock, Numbers always manages to understand what Pekko's game plan is and kind of just starts to slowly rack up more and more percent. Okay, yep. a little standoff, just <laughs> throwing a sun salutation in his face. Both players just chilling at around roughly 60%. But the next big interaction could definitely take the stock. Numbers is looking just for that. All right, looking to maybe set up another ledge situation. Pekko definitely has not been wanting to play with the Charizard very much because, yeah. I mean, you know, we've it's got some crazy combos on big Cra bodies. Yeah, crazy combos and just a Ooh. huge hurt box. It's just so scary. <laughs> And we fits glow in red, just one tap kill you. But same as for Ivysaur, you know? Oh no, just caught the the, the top of the, the Ivysaur bulb. Wow. That sun Ooh. salutation is so strong too. That was that was a brave dash attack from Pekko. John had deep breathing online. Wow. wow. Great call out with the with the Charizard up smash. You know that hitbox is also great for scooping up uh, players, but straight up he just called out his jump, so Yeah. I think that was definitely a call out on um John preemptively jumping over a grab because, you know, he was underneath that uh, the platform and an up throw definitely would have done it. So well Don Pekko is in a very perilous situation, kind of just being, you know, tossed around off stage and finishing it off with the sun salutation. As soon as he switched, it was kind of sealed right there because you just had to throw out a quick sun salutation. Yep, here we have the string once again. Both these players playing really out of their mind this game. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't, like, after Pekko's amazing start, you really wouldn't have expected John to, you know, just reverse that so easily. But at this level, winner's semis or uh, winner's quarters, these players are uh, ready just to be able to, like, snowball each other and just go insane.